everybody, it's Daryl here from eFlex Fuel. And in today's video, we're gonna be installing the eFlex Plus kit into this 2020 Nissan 370Z. Now with our kit installed, you're gonna be able to run gas, E85, or any blend safely within your vehicle. And this system here is fully automatic, so you don't have to worry about tuning it or switching between tunes in any way. Stay tuned for the install. Included in the kit is gonna be the control unit, the ethanol sensor, as well as the main wiring harness. Inside that main wiring harness box is going to be male connectors as well as extension wires. We'll also be providing you with some new fuel line as well as fuel line connectors as, and hose clamps. So to complete this installation, you're going to need a multimeter, a proper working area, and assortment of basic hand tools. Before we get started in installation, let's prep the vehicle for it. First things first, to make sure that the engine is cool to the touch. Next, you want to open up the fuel cap to relieve the fuel pressure. And last, you want to make sure that your keys are away from the vehicle and that your door is closed. That way, you don't prime the fuel pump. To start the install, remove all the plastic coverings as well as the strut bar. This will allow you access to the intake manifold. It's now time to remove the intake manifold to gain access to the fuel injectors. Now that the intake has been removed, it's time to locate the fuel pressure line. This is located on the passenger side of the engine. Remove the metal bracket off in front of the quick connector and then remove the bluish cover on top of the fuel line connector to gain access to the fuel line quick connectors. Watch out for the fuel to spill. Once the line has been located, we will install the ethanol sensor on the fuel pressure line by using the hose provided in the kit. The ethanol sensor will give you the ethanol percentage of your fuel in your vehicle. Utilize the fuel accessories that come with the kit and ensure that the ethanol sensor is mounted away from all high voltage parts. Once the ethanol sensor has been installed, we can get started with the wiring harness. First, locate the fuel injectors and release the plug from each injector. Now it's time to test the polarity. To do this, you'll need to take your multimeter and set it to continuity mode mode that beeps. Take the red wire from the multimeter and plug it into one side of the ECU's harness. Then take the black wire of the multimeter and plug it into a separate plug on the same exact side. Do this for each connector. If it beeps, then this means there, that there is polarity. Keep this in mind because this is the side that the red wire would be inserted into. This is a crucial part of the installation, so make sure to remember what side has polarity. This is our main wiring harness. Because this is a V6 engine, you will have to equip two of the extension wires to the main harness.
Now that you have the correct polarity measured, it is time to install the male connectors to the main wiring harness. Test fit the male connectors to the vehicle's harness to ensure that you're inputting the red wire to the correct polarity side. Now connect all the male connectors to all the terminal wires. Ensure that the wires are pulled all the way through. Next, install the wires directly to the fuel injectors and the vehicle's ECU harness. The temperature sensor wire has the orange tip. You should mount this near the engine block. Connect the brown plug directly to the ethanol sensor. Now mount the ground wire. Ensure that the ground wire is mounted to bare metal or straight to the negative battery terminal. Once that has been complete, it is time to connect the control unit to the main harness and mount it in position. Now before we start putting on the plastic covering and the strut brace, it's time to test that the vehicle is operating correctly. To do this, you want to flip on the on switch without turning on the vehicle to prime the pump. From there, we could try to connect to the app and we could see if everything's operating perfectly. Now it's time to start the car and connect to our app. So here's our eFlex app. We're going to get the car started up. Going to hit connect. So now that we have it all connected, we can see that on our app, everything is tracked in real time from our duty cycle to our ethanol content percentage as well as the engine temperature. At the bottom, you can see the injector activity and see that all six cylinders are operating and connected correctly. 